or excuse me, the left-hand side of the vehicle, there is a large truss structure. That is the strong back. We have some clamp arms uh, just at the bottom of Dragon. Uh, in about... Right, redirect sequence has started. Stand by for killer arm movement. Well, right now, the uh, those clamp arms are beginning to open up. You can see them right behind um, all of the, the, um, the white clouds uh, around the vehicle. Once that is fully open, then the strong back structure will retract away to its pre-launch position about two degrees away from the vehicle. Um, and as we get closer to T0, it will continue to recline back to make room for Falcon 9 and Dragon uh, to lift off and clear the launch pad. And so here's a great shot of those clamp arms at the bottom of the screen, opening wide open. Um, and we should see that structure to the right of Falcon 9 and Dragon begin to recline away from the vehicles. This whole sequence takes um, about a minute, a little over a minute uh, to fully complete, and we expect this to complete um, in about 15 minutes. Or 15 seconds. So you can see on screen that strong back is beginning to recline away from Dragon and Falcon 9. All right, now coming up next is going to be the finish of loading that liquid oxygen on the stage one. We finish up on the liquid oxygen. Stage one locks load is complete. There we go. All of the oxidizer loaded on to stage one. Yep, and uh, in about a minute here, we should hear the last call out related to propellant. That's going to be stage two locks load complete. And again, that is the last of propellant loading on Dragon the vehicle. Is in terminal count and on internal power. And as we wait for that call out, all of the white clouds that you're seeing on screen, that is normal and expected for us at this stage in the countdown. We'll continue to see them build up as we get closer and closer to zero. We, we want to make sure that we are keeping the tanks as full as possible um, and the warm uh, uh, ambient air of Florida is um, you know, uh, helping to create those clouds around the vehicle. Coming up on two minutes until liftoff, standing by for stage two locks load being completed. Stage two locks load is complete. Dragon is in auto idle. All right, Dragon's flight computer and auto idle. Next, it'll flip yes, over to countdown. Expect loud venting. Gas closeout has started, so we're now isolating all of the feed lines for the different gas systems uh, from the Falcon 9 rocket. They're going to then get vented. You can hear that venting start. They're going to get vented overboard uh, through the through umbilicals and through the strong back itself. Coming up at T minus one minute, we're going to hear Dragon is in countdown. It's a flight computer will switch to countdown mode. We'll also hear that the flight termination system on Falcon 9 is armed. Falcon 9 will move into startup and take over control. FTS is armed. Falcon 9 is in startup and is now controlling. Dragon is in countdown. Dragon's flight computer in countdown. The FTS, that flight termination system on... Freedom, SpaceX, go for Crew 4 launch. Freedom is go for launch. SpaceX reports go. Crew reports T -minus go. T-minus 30 seconds. And you heard it there. 30 seconds away from liftoff. T-minus 20. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. Go Falcon. Let Freedom Rain. Got to be three, four. Vehicle switching down range. Body one alpha. Freedom soars and the dragon flies forth. 
vehicle already pitching down range. All nine Merlin engines have to lift. Getting good performance on stage one propulsion already. We are T plus 35 seconds into the fourth rotational crew mission on board Dragon and the Falcon 9. The nine Merlin 1D engines uh, on the first stage are beginning to throttle down. In preparation for max Q, this is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. So we'll throttle down the engines in preparation for that event. Vehicle is supersonic. All right, so we've passed the speed of sound. We're already. Max Q. And there's our call out for Max Q. Stage one, throttle up. So right after Max Q, we will begin to throttle Stage those engines up again. Copy, one Bravo. And one Bravo, so we're in the second and final abort mode for the first stage. Continuing to get good performance, though. The crew are already pulling in excess of two Gs. And coming up next is going to be a couple of events in rapid succession. Yep, in about 10 seconds here, we're going to be performing engine chill on the second stage MVAC engine. Um, and then in about a minute, uh, we're gonna start off with Miko, also known as main engine cutoff. This is where those nine engines that you're seeing uh, ignite on, uh, being lit up on screen, those are gonna cut off and in MVAC preparation killer. for stage separation, where the first and second stages will separate from one another. And then the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry our crew four astronauts to orbit. And we heard that MVAC chill has started. Stage one throttle down. The nine Merlin engines starting to throttle down. And standing by for Miko. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Right. So Miko, stage separation is confirmed. And uh, You see that Copy second stage alpha. engine light. We're in two alpha, the second abort mode. The second stage is lit, continuing to carry the crew four astronauts onto orbit. Uh, and this is a fantastic view. On the left-hand side, this is the first stage, now separated from the second stage, but it's still being illuminated by that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, so right now, the first stage is making its way back to Earth to attempt its fourth landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. Uh, the crew is on the opposite, opposite side of the engine that you see on the right-hand side of your screen. They are continuing with their journey to outer space. Seeing good performance on that lone Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. The cruise GLO dips right when we hit that separation it event, and it's going to continue to build up now. Shared acquisition of signal Bermuda. That means we're Dragon, now... SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Freedom copies, nominal trajectory. That was our guidance, navigation, and control officer. Nominal trajectory. Dragon's pointed in the right direction, continuing its flight to orbit. We heard Bermuda called out. That's one of the ground stations now receiving telemetry from the Dragon as it continues its path uphill. So we'll, be, we'll have the dueling boxes here for a while as the first stage makes its way down. That second stage going to continue firing until about... Uh, a little over eight minutes into the flight, doing the heavy lifting now. The first stage has um, a couple of events itself in order to, to land on a drone ship. So uh, at T plus seven minutes and 25 seconds, it's going to start its entry burn. It's going to be one of two burns. Uh, this is where three of the nine Merlin Dragon engines SpaceX, nominal trajectory. on the first stage will relight. Uh, and burn for about 30 seconds in order to slow the vehicle down before hitting the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Acquisition of signal, New Hampshire. All right, now on the New Hampshire ground station, another call out there from our guidance, navigation, and control officer, nominal trajectory. Second stage, stage continues to power. 
call out just then. Propulsion is nominal. The engine performing as expected. Crew pulling a little more than one and a quarter G's right now. Again, that's going to continue to ramp up, peaking just before we get to that second stage cutoff. Yep, this 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 single engine here, Dan, can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space, so um, they are definitely feeling it. And we're already about 200 kilometers in altitude. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Freedom copies, nominal trajectory. Great call out, Dan. Uh, we are headed in the direction that we need to, and we, we just heard from Shell, the commander. And we should get one more of those trajectory check-ins in about 30 seconds from now, and then we'll start to hit our events in rapid succession as the first stage continues to make its way back home. And the second stage will start to wrap up its job of delivering these astronauts into orbit. Yeah, we don't see it on screen right now, but the first stage is making its way back to our drone ship uh, in about... Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. In about 30 seconds here, it's going to start its entry burn. And there was the other call out that uh, you, were, you were mentioning, Dan, about the trajectory. Things, again, continuing to look very, very good for the ascent portion. Those just joining us, we are just under eight minutes into flight. We have four astronauts as part of the crew for operational mission. You can see on the left-hand side, this is our first stage with three of nine Merlin engines reignited and slowing down the first stage before we hit the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere. So this first stage has one stage more one burn left. Burn shut down. That's going to happen just before the T plus nine minute mark, and then we'll attempt a landing for the fourth time on a drone ship that's currently parked in the Atlantic Ocean. So is that entry burn complete? Terminal guidance. We're in the final stages of the second stage's flight into orbit. We're about to pass through several of the different abort phases essentially correspond to areas along the very northeastern seaboard of the U.S. and then across the Atlantic and off the coast of Scotland. But continuing to get call-outs that stage two propulsion is nominal. Copy, Shannon. And the call-out of Shannon, Ireland, that's... Stage uh, one transonic. Indicative of our final abort zone. And after this uh, second stage engine shuts off its engine, we are going to be listening for the confirmation of a good orbit, which tells us that the it's crew and Dragon are where they need to be in stage orbit. Landing burn. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. And that was the call that we wanted on the second stage. Here's a fantastic view. We're glad to be in orbit. Of the Dragon, first stage. SpaceX, launch escape system is disarmed. Fantastic view of the first landing stage. Deployed. Landing legs have been deployed, returning back to Earth for a fourth time. And just like that, a fourth landing as part of the Crew 4 mission. You can hear the applause behind us. But prior to this, acquisition signal Newfoundland. We saw the crew. We, we heard that the crew uh, has been successfully inserted into a good orbit, and this is them uh, in zero g, uh, yeah. two of them for the first time. And getting a look, it looks like we might have a couple of zero g indicators. I see a turtle. 
in Bob Hines' hands. That is the nickname for the astronaut class from 2017, of which he and Jessica Watkins were a part. I believe we've got a monkey floating over by Samantha Christopheretti. <laughs> but first, <laughs> first view of Crew 4 on orbit experiencing microgravity they're still attached to that second stage which at this point is going to continue to coast for a couple of minutes it's got small reaction control thrusters on the upper part of the second stage that can be used to cancel out rates essentially making sure that they're on a stable coast before we get to that separation event after which we'll see dragon freedom flying free for the first time Got, yeah, a couple of stowaways. The, the turtle class really does seem to be taken over now uh, with a turtle zero-G indicator. All right, we should be just about a minute away from that separation, after which a number of activation uh, checkouts occur automatically. First, checking out 12 of those Draco maneuvering thrusters. Uh, all around the service section of the Dragon capsule. Uh, we'll also uh, start to get ready for the nose cone opening, uh, which it stays closed for the, the flight uphill to help protect uh, all of those guidance, navigation, and control sensors. It's also covering four of the Draco thrusters that we're going to be using for uh, providing the majority of the thrust, the push, uh, for these different phasing burns as Dragon chases down the space station. But all right, standing by for separation. So typically we'll get a shot from the second stage looking at the unpressurized service section of the Dragon. What a magnificent view.